Hi, welcome to Julie's Kitchen. Today we're going to make smoothies. Now smoothies are easy, fast, nutritious, depending on how, what you put in them. And so I'm going to tell you what I do. I've been doing them for a really, really long time. And they're quick and easy. And for you, your family, everyone's a half awake in the morning, we want to put something good down us. I always, always make a smoothie for who's ever here. So if you ever come spend the night in my house, you'll probably get a smoothie. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a fruit smoothie first. Kids like the fruit smoothies. If you're worried about being pre-diabetic, like all of us should be, um, we also have um, vegetable smoothies, and we'll get into that one too. But the kids love the fruit smoothies, and what you want to start off with, what I always start off with, the world is your oyster on this, so this is just what I do. But it's easy, and I've got it down, and it's, you just make it all habits. Okay, so I buy lots of bananas. When the bananas are going a little bit funny on you, you, you peel them and put them in a bag and you have frozen bananas. And frozen bananas are the basic core of your smoothie. Frozen bananas are really rock in the smoothies. Okay, and then you put some frozen fruit. I like Wyman's from Maine. I don't know them. I just like their fruit. Um, this is their triple berry blend. They have all kinds of blends. You know, whatever you like. So this has got... Um, Raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. That's what we feel like today, so that's what we're going today. Everybody gets a little bit bored with what they're doing, so change the berry. Don't change the banana, but change the berry. Okay, and then we take some almond milk, possibly. Fresh made almond milk. I taught you how to make that, remember? Pour a little liquid in there. You have to have liquid in your smoothies. And maybe a little coconut milk. We like coconut around so put them both in. The, you know, the thing about your kitchen is your kitchen is not your, you know, um, something you want to put in a magazine necessarily, because who really cares? It should be your laboratory. That's how I treat mine. That is how you're going to stay healthy. So who cares what it looks like in the magazine? Well, you want your stuff out and convenient, okay? So we've got the... Um, Aloe vera, which is another um, superfood, and we're going to go through superfoods, but I keep this in my refrigerator. It's a um, superfood. It's a pure aloe. I always put a little aloe in the smoothie. You don't even have to tell the kids if you think they might turn their nose up at it. Um, now, this is like, so my 17-year-old boys will drink it. So sometimes I throw in a little pomegranate, or I've got this black cherry juice, pure juice, organic. Read your labels. Make sure it doesn't have added sugar in it and sweeten that up maybe a little bit and it's ready to go you can stop right here and make your smoothie okay but i like my superfoods in the smoothie okay and the superfoods if you want to come over here i'm going to show you my superfood roll right here these sit out on my counter and i buy them in bulk and i put them in jars and as you can see they're not pretty jars they're just jars i have around the house that have other things in them and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little flax in there so open up here, maybe a teaspoonful of flax, your megas, right there. Now you can see they're ground. This is the flax seed is how you want to buy your flax in the little seed form. Okay? But you're not going to get your superfood business out of this until you put them in your coffee grinder. So once a week, you take a little portion like that, put it in your coffee grinder. I don't drink coffee anymore, so I call my flax seed grinder. And now we've released all the omegas from the seed, maybe a little bit longer. And I've got a special jar for the ground ones, and I'll pour those in there later. So we've got the flax seed in here. We've got cacao. Cacao is chocolate in the raw. This is the pure form of chocolate. Doesn't taste good because it doesn't have any sugar, but it's good in your smoothie. It's got a lot of natural sugar, so don't worry, worry about it. We've got maca. Okay, this is an ancient, ancient, ancient root. And it is packed full of antioxidants. A little taste of maca in there. So who needs a multivitamin when you've got superfoods right here in your smoothies? I mean, seriously. Why swallow a vitamin? Hemp, protein. No way. Use your hemp. I think I might have told you about hemp before. But hemp, once again, you find these at the, order them online, superfoods.com, whatever. Goji berries. Now, you don't have to do all these every day. You can change it up, see how much time you have. I put like five goji berries in there today. Um, chia seeds. You guys have seen your chia seeds. And once again, your omegas. Another super, these are all superfoods. And the kids will never know they're in there. And if, you're, if it's for you, 
then you know they're in there, but they taste great. A little bit of coconut, unsweetened natural coconut flakes. A little bit of honey. I'm not going to put any honey in. Sometimes I do for the kids. I'm not going to put it in. And a little bit of cinnamon. Did you know cinnamon was a superfood? Isn't that awesome? So we've got that. And voila! No vitamin pill to swallow. Just a fabulous smoothie. Put the lid on. I always serve my smoothies in a glass with a straw. Um, you can drink them whenever you want, but the kids like them in a straw. And um, you're ready to go, and you have a nutri nutritious something in your belly if you haven't had anything else to go along with it. And at least you got a smoothie. And it was just that easy. Keep everything loaded up. Keep your fresh fruit. Keep your frozen bananas. Have your coconut milk, your almond milks, your yogurts would go in there. Uh, play around with superfoods. They're not required, but I enjoy them. And um, have a great day, and we'll go right into the vegetable smoothie. Okay, now we're on to the vegetable smoothie. Now, vegetable smoothies aren't the favorite for kids, but you should have no problem having a... Uh... So that's a really good way to get your veggies in you in the morning. Maybe you don't want to do a fruit smoothie every day because at our ages, my age, um, we got a lot of sugar in us already and we're you know, worried about being pre-diabetic, at least I am. So get your veggies in. I love veggies anyway, so but this is a good way to do it too. So I just put in some spinach and some kale, okay? So you got your green, green, greens. Isn't that pretty? Get your greens, 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 greens. Spinach and kale, and just kind of look, eyeball it, okay? And to make it sweet, you might put some apple. Got some green apple here, put that in here. A little bit of cucumber, a little bit of celery. Okay, and how about a beautiful beet? Now look at these little baby beets. These are the perfect 